Today's scripture is from the book of Proverbs 4, 20 through 23. My son, pay attention to what I say. Turn your ear to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to one's whole body. Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Good morning, New Life Church. Today is the last week of 2021. There are only four days left. So today, uh, we start a new Bible reading plan. So that is becoming Christ-like through renovation of the heart. So the author, Dallas Willard, so wants us to learn that the life God presented to us through Jesus was a journey of small steps that quietly lead to our own inner transformation. In today's Bible plan, so Dallas Willard says, our spiritual formation journey is basically the spirit-driven process of forming, forming the inner world of the human self in such a way that it becomes like the inner being of Christ himself. The reason why the author says this is explained as follows. We live from our hurt the part of us that drives and organizes our life is not the physical. This remains true, true even if we deny it. You have a spirit within you and it has been formed. It has taken on a specific character. I have a spirit and it has been formed. This is true of everyone. The human spirit is an inescapable, funda fundamental aspect of every human being, and it takes on whichever character it has from the experience and the choices that we have lived through or made in our past. So that is what it means for it to be formed. So, it is important what our hearts are filled with. And the author introduced today's scripture, Proverbs 4, 20 through 23, to let us know the way to fill our hearts with God's words and good things. So the NIV Bible starts the verse 23 with, Above all else, they guard your heart. This part of the verse emphasizes that one is to keep guard over the entrance of their heart. This entrance is the doorway through which things get in and out of the heart. So we are to guard our hearts against what comes in and only allow that so which builds us up. So what corrupts our hearts? is to stay out. So corruption comes through what we watch, listen to, do, and sins we commit. So if we let in ungodly things, yeah, we become ungodly. If we let in godly things, yeah, we become more godly. So as Christians, we are to read and meditate on God's word so that it can dwell in our hearts. And then, for everything you do flows from it, means that your actions come from the things you think and believe. If you have the right beliefs in your heart, your actions will be life-giving, and you will move in the right direction. When your heart is right and pure, you can obey God's word and apply in your life. If your heart is impure, you will do things with the wrong motives. When you guard your hearts, it is possible to keep away from the 
perverse talk. Focus on walking the right path and allow God to direct your steps and keep your feet from evil. So we need to remember this. The fullness of your heart determines your actions and the course of your life. So what you say over your life depends on what is in your heart. So the power of life and death are in your tongue, which speaks out of the abundance of the heart. So today, let us think about what kind of person we were before Christ entered our life. What kind of person we are now and what kind of person we would truly like to be. Okay? So God bless you and Happy New Year. Thank you.